first of all, thank you, Joe. And I want to also thank Jacob for the fine work they're doing in colleges and post-secondary uh, world. I want to start also by acknowledging that it is our board, a uh, member of our board, Michael Feldman's birthday today. So happy birthday. I believe he is on the call. And uh, and I want to point out this beautiful background that I have is actually of our Must South campus. Uh, but before I launch into that, I just want to start with, I believe. I believe must is the answer. We're going to come back to that very notion in just a moment, but this is the campaign that must has been running since the beginning of the month and that we will continue to run around must and its future. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about my return from the must South campus uh, and what's going on on that campus and what is going on on our campus in Hoda Sharon. First of all, our must South campus has been playing host to many of the JNF missions. It has been playing host for the purposes of assembling boxes of goods that we gather from organizations based in northern Israel in the evacuated areas there to distribute to the evacuees and those families affected in the OTEF. So we have been uh, playing host to thousands of, uh, of volunteers coming on JNF missions. We are currently preparing the campus to receive 80 campers as part of the Habanim Drawer Program, which is a project that JNF entered with Ophir Lipstein um, uh, from Shar HaNegev. This is a project that he was the chairperson of, and we are going to be hosting them this weekend, and we are working with them to develop program for this summer that would include Israeli students working to develop a relationship with our American students. The idea being that we are helping to develop the leadership on both sides of the ocean for the future of Judaism and the future of Zionism and Israel. In addition, we had meetings today with Ben Gurion University and we had them visit the campus and they took a look around and we are looking at doing some joint programs that would allow our students to enroll with teachers at Ben Gurion University. So all of this is very exciting. And next week, we will be bringing the 54 students from Charles E. Smith Jewish Day School that is currently housed on our campus in Hoda Sharon down to Beersheba for two weeks where they will be doing some volunteer work and where they will get to benefit from our brand new campus and everything it has to offer. So we're very excited about that. So in addition to the 54 students that are here with our partner program, we also have 35 students on our semester program, and we are expecting about another dozen or so at the end of April as part of our mini master program. So despite the war, or maybe because of the war, there are committed young teens and families coming to Israel to express and demonstrate that commitment. Moreover, we ran the first two of our teen missions, and there will be several more, and we encourage you to find teens who are interested in doing the same sort of mission work. We've had over 40 students over the last two weeks doing things like preparing food, barbecuing, going into communities that have been impacted by the war, and providing support. We like to say that the most important relationships that students, that these teens have when they come to Israel, happen around the dinner table and the coffee table or the, or the cafe. So we never imagined that those dinner tables were going to be set and prepared by our students. I can't begin to tell you how meaningful it has been to bring our students from our partner school, from our core program, and from these volunteer missions, these solidarity missions to these campuses, uh, largely army bases, to help them to help prepare meals and for them to sit around with the soldiers and connect with them and understand what they're going through and to just have a meaningful conversation with Israelis. It was not, not something ever in our plan or in our program, but it has turned into a really meaningful experience for every one of the students who comes through. I want to just reinforce, we are adding more teen missions and we are adding it with heavily subsidized opportunities so that our teen missions for the summer, which might ordinarily cost a couple thousand, three thousand dollars, 
we're able to subsidize with grants and support from JNF that allows a teen to come for eight days for $400 in the cost of airfare. And I can't begin to tell you how meaningful it is based on the experience of the nearly 150 students that we've had doing this kind of work. Lastly, I just want to say that our, our groups, our semester group, our, our Charles E. Smith's group just returned from uh, Poland and Prague, where they learned about the Jewish journey. They learned about how a strong Jewish <clears throat> diaspora went from being a strong Jewish diaspora in, in, in uh, Europe in the 30s and in the 40s to being what what to, to what happened to it. And that's an important connection to what's going on today. And so we're asking these students to look at what does it mean to be Jewish? What does it mean to have a, a homeland? What does it mean as far as peoplehood, as far as religion? How do all of these pieces connect? And this is where I want to come back to my first statement, which is I believe must is the answer. I believe must is the answer so that I could say that I'm a proud Zionist. My son, uh, who Joe mentioned, who did the program in 2015, can say he's a proud Zionist. And when he's on college campus in America, can have not an argument, but a conversation about what he understands from his experiences, his the subject matter expertise, and from just his connection to the land and to the people. It's a dialogue. It's an opportunity to talk positively, to own the notion that Zionism is not a bad thing. It's our opportunity. Must is the answer is to the op it provides us the opportunity to retake Zionism as a positive and not let it be owned by our enemies as a negative. So must is the answer. And I believe that every high school student should have an opportunity to come to Israel to experience it, to learn the history, to learn the connection, to learn the realities on the ground. They're not always comfortable realities, and we ask the kids to struggle with it and to have the conversations with one another, with their teachers, and with the people here in Israel. So with that, I just want to say thank you again, Joe, Joe and to the entire Jewish National Fund USA for allowing me to, to speak momentarily. Um, must is the answer, I believe, and we really have a lot to be proud of.